Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's nice and fall time, it's a little hot outside. I wonder what y'all's favorite season is. Let me know because mine used to be summer, but I like fall. Fall is real cute and windy and the leaves are on the ground. It just, it's, I, I really like the fall. Depends on where you are in the summer though. And my camera is about to die, so that's great. But I just want to really quickly talk to you guys about something so I have been really into personal development self-growth you guys know this especially being in my early 20s not you know entertaining any type of you know, romantic relationship and so just really having a lot of time to myself and being able to really grow and develop myself and so this well recently I met with a life coach um, I always knew that I was gonna have to have a one-on-one -on -one session with a life coach eventually but I didn't know when and you know the Lord um, you know allowed me to experience something that made me say you know what this is this is the breaking point this is the this is it this is when I need to speak to a life coach and it was such a liberating experience it really just put my life or my it put my life into perspective and my experiences at that time into perspective and I don't think that it would have been as beneficial and as effective of a session if I wasn't already doing the work on myself that I've been doing, if I wasn't already very spiritual and committed to growth and already trying to work on my self esteem and you know my and healing my, my childhood traumas and fears. And so through that life coaching session, you know, it put the situation at hand into perspective and it really allowed me to do some reflecting and really think and say why is it that I entertain this type of situation, this type of treatment, this type of energy? And it just, it really helped me. It helped me more on my healing journey. Um, a big thing on my healing journey is all about self-esteem and affirming ourselves. And I, through that situation, I realized that I have a lot of subconscious fears. There's a lot of, there is a lot of fear deep down inside that has just come from past experiences. A fear of not being enough, a fear of not being liked, a fear of being too much. Oh, she's too this, she's too that, she's not this, she's not that. And so it's just, it just, I had to just heal and tell myself every day, you know what, I don't have any fears. I'm fearless, I am enough, I'm more than enough. And I was just watching a video kind of talking about um, life lessons that this person learned in her 20s. And one of the key points that they mentioned was trusting your intuition. And through the experience that I that I am speaking about, you know, that allowed me to, you know, get a life coach, there were a lot of things that I people say, you know, red flags that they looked over or signs that they missed. And I just I, our spirit tells us when something is wrong, when you know, when a person is off, when it, when an energy is off, but I think too many times we focus on what we see in the natural and not on what we feel in, in, in the spiritual and it, or what we sense in the spiritual. And I, I just remember having so much disconnect and dissonance about, oh, but I'm seeing this. I'm seeing that this person is so great or nice or kind or treating me like this or, you know, like my hormones are like, I don't know, infatuation and what like but 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 what are you sensing what are you sensing when you're not around this person are you are you at peace you know or are you anxious and I, I just realized just in general I've just become so much more spiritual and not paying it not even just in, just in any type of relationship any type of person that I interact with I'm like okay this is what I see you know this is what I hear but what am I actually feeling what am I actually sensing what we see in the natural eventually fades, but, but, but what we feel and sense in the spiritual is what remains. And at the end of the day, in any relationship, romantic, platonic, what do you really want out of that relationship? I mean, it, that's something you need to ask yourself. Just really focusing on your spirit and trusting that and trusting your intuition. As a woman, you know, a woman's intuition is one of the greatest forces ever and it you should trust it 
all the time. But if you're pure, wholesome, you, you know, you're, you're connecting, you're on a spiritual journey, you're connecting to your inner self and to your creator, trust your intuition. I, and I, it's just, it, because I'm becoming so much more spiritual, it changes my, my interactions. And I think it changes the aftermath of my interactions. I, whenever I would interact with, do I want to say men or boys? I don't know, guys. Interact with guys, whatever. I, I, I would always have these doubts afterwards. Like, oh, was I enough? Or does he think I'm, I'm attractive? Or, you know, and all these things. I said, why are you, you should, I, why am I having to do all of that? Why am I having to, if you're having to question, uh, this is fear and anxiety that we don't need. The fact that you're having to question it so much is a sign right there that where you are spiritually and where this person is, it's not going to match. This person didn't even take the time to show you how they really felt, but they want to play games and you're sensing immaturity. You're, you're sensing a lack of self-awareness and emotional awareness and emotional intelligence and maturity. So I don't, you know, I, I, I used to like ruminate on those things and think, oh my gosh, like am I, and that used to get so depressing and just make me feel, well, I guess I'm just not enough, whatever, it's me, it's me, I'm the problem. But at this point, I'm like, look, okay, this is who I am. I'm going to focus on what makes me happy. What are my goals? What are my priorities? Okay, I'm in school. My priority is to graduate with my degree. It's to get my job. It's to start my business, you know, it's to continue to connect with God and with the word and to be kind with everyone that I meet, you know, um, make sure that I'm, that I have a, a type of routine that I'm not wasting too much time on social media, that I'm reading and, and sewing into myself, pouring into myself, pouring into those around me, s serving that that's who I want to be, work on that, focus on that. And the person that I'm meant to be with will come into my life and I will know that this is my person. And I, I just think when you're so spiritually aware, I, I think honestly too, like when you're, okay, when you're so spiritually high, like when you're just on a different level spiritually, you don't, you know, you don't seek validation from others. You don't seek approval from others. You're on, like you, you basically a boss. People can sense that immature like men or like even just people friends girls anybody can sense that and they know i'm not going to bring my mess into her life she's not going to accept my mess she's not going to tolerate my mess i'm very big on boundaries i'm very big on saying no putting myself first and not being so nice no more nice girl okay no more nice girl you can be kind but no more nice girl no more people pleasing okay because we don't need that validation. We don't, no, I don't need the validation from you. Who are you? And it's just, I, I think I just want to wrap up by saying, you know, in my life, I've, 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 I've noticed, you know, because I'm constantly growing, it's like people are constantly leaving, you know, my life. I'm exaggerating. But what I just, it's just so great when you feel this sense of peace when someone has removed themselves from your life or, you know, when God has given you the strength and the wisdom to not chase after someone once they have already removed them like that is such a blessing such a peaceful feeling I'm like I am at so much peace I can now focus on what it is I'm truly meant to be focusing on and doing and it's just so funny because I always think about how you know at any point in time we could be taken out of this world I don't know how long my my time is going to be here on earth I don't know when the Lord is going to call me home but I when I think about it I'm like but imagine if he were to call you home tomorrow or in the next hour, <laughs> would you be proud of how you spent your last few days or your last few weeks? I mean, what were you thinking about? W were you worrying about something? Were you upset that, that you couldn't get the validation from a guy? That Were you upset that someone that you know wasn't good enough for you wasn't valuing you? But how do you think your creator would feel about that? How do you... like? No, I don't want to focus on that. And if, if, if the Lord were to call me home, the thing is, I'm thinking about this person or I'm thinking about this or, or whatever person that I shouldn't even be thinking about. I'm thinking about them. And if something were to happen to me, <laughs> they wouldn't care. But I spent so much time thinking about them. So, guys, it's time to be selfish. It's time to 
pour into yourself, do the things that you love. Most people that you meet in your life, there's going to be something off about them. They're probably not going to be aligned with you. Okay. It's, it's the rare, it's rare that you meet people that are aligned. A lot of people you meet, they may, they may, they pretend that they're aligned with you. They may act very well. They may show representative, but they eventually their, their true colors will show. And when it's time to let them go, or when it's time to create a boundary, when it's time to enforce a boundary and say no, it's up to you to do that. It's up to you to do that. You cannot blame them. It's up to you to set and enforce boundaries in your life and connect with spirit. Like trust your intuition, trust your gut. That's all I have today.